Jamie Sasson Joe, the founder of Freeform. This is Anthony Goldsmith from Performance Personal Training. We're about to do a little upright series on the Freeform board, a little uh, routine that I've got uh, that I used to demonstrate the board to the first timers. What I get to do, Anthony, is put your hands on your hips. We're just going to get a bit of proprioception happening, get that left leg used to being the sole centre of balance. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so take the right leg forward, so keep straight, neutral. Okay, what we're going to do is just do a large semicircle, so conduction. Keep, keep square on with the hips. So come back, keep the hips square, and as it goes back, you feel the extension should feel some hip flexor stretch. Pull your pubic bone in and up, and we'll go back out. Just do two more, back, slow with control, and we'll do one more. Okay, bring it forward again, we're going to do a movement called a half asterisk. So what I do is just bend the left knee slightly, it's a small range of motion, and keep the right leg straight, just drive it forward, bring it in, bend the knee, relax, 45 degrees anterior. Go out to the side, frontal plane, just a small range of motion. Reverse diagonal, so just keep the body square. Come in and we'll go to pure sagittal reverse movement. Back. And now kick it through, we'll go forward again. One, forward diagonal, frontal plane, reverse diagonal, and pure extension. Come up and one more. Forward, diagonal, frontal, reverse diagonal. And we'll go backwards, come back to the centre. Now what I'm going to do is take the board forward. Now just keep sure, to make sure that your spine is neutral. You're not extending either the spine or the hip. You're just driving the left knee forward. And bring it back. You drive the knee forward, bring it back. Now as you go forward, you feel the load on the hip flexor and the, and the abdominals. Okay, so now we're going to come back in. As you drive the right foot forward, bend the left knee forward, take the right arm back. Okay, come back. And forward again, and back. And one more. Okay, come forward. Now we're going to do, uh, we'll go sagittal plane reverse. We're going to take the board back. We're going to lean the body forward and do a diagonal reach. The board behind you. As you bend the left knee, lean forward and do a diagonal reach with the right arm. And come back up. And again. Up. Okay, so one more. Now, as you come in, take the board forward again. Drive the arm back. Now, take it backwards. Like a reach. And then coming up. Drive forwards. And back. And forwards. And back. Okay, come back to neutral. And we will do a um, overhead reach with a side lunge. Come in. And together, let's go. One. Two. Now we're going to link, go forward, come to the centre, go so no, 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 we're going to go sideways now. Okay, and forward again. So what's unique about freeform is this ability to continuously transition because of the directional changes and the no end of range of motion, you can keep on linking these movements. Now go forward again, but this time we're going to go backwards and reach across, come up, forwards, come to the centre, now sideways. We'll go forward again, back, forward, come to the centre and sideways, and forward again, and back, and forward, come in and over to the side. Okay, now that we're here, I'm going to get down into a low stance. So we're pre-loading, pre-tensioning, stabilising, ankle, knee and hip. Okay, now from there, what I want you to do is keep the body straight, take the board out 45 degrees posterior. That's it, come back in. 45 degrees back, and in. One more. Okay, come in and hold, bring your elbows in, and keep, stay where you are, just twist to the left. And back. And left. And back, one more. Twist, come back, combine. Board goes 45 degrees, the body twists. Come back in. Two, three. Come in, before we do it again, we're going to speed it up. Make sure on the way back you keep some space between this ankle. We're going to also let the arms out. So from here, you go 45 degrees back and let the arms out. Tuck the elbows in, come back. Two. And now, what I want to do is let loose fast. Swing the arms, three, four, spread, five, six, seven, and eight. Is that one? That. It's, uh, it's a speed skater. Okay, 
So we'll chase basically together like a rest with a few different movements. Now I'd like you to try the best glute exercise ever. You turn the middle of the ball, extend the hip back, lift the spine up. Imagine you're holding a barbell with two dumbbells. Straight down, in front. So I want you to get the length in the anterior spine. And we're going to bend the right knee, extend the left hip, take the navel onto the right thigh. Single leg gently. So take the board back. Like you want to take your knuckles to the floor. Come up. And down. Feeling that right glute working? Yeah? Oh, yeah. This is a great glute workout. And it's a great one to come back into here and transition back into the speed skater. We get the glute medius working. So twist this way. Twist it for me. This way. Bang. In. Out. Stay down low. Stay low. You're not coming up for this one. Stay low. Twist. Okay, coming up. What you do is a diagonal movement with the external rotation, point the toe out, turn it right out. Come back in, we'll do a reverse diagonal, turn the leg in, internal rotation. Come back, external rotate, internal rotate, external, internal, external. Okay, coming in, we're going to do a fast, small circle. What I want to do is get a bounce going on this leg. So you do a small circle. It's really small and tight. See this? Okay. So bounce on that right leg, even less, less of a bounce. And then what I want you to do, get more speed going. Put your hand on your abdomen and feel the recto spinning inside. Left to right, go faster, faster, faster. Um, Sprint. Take the ball back. Okay, and that will sprint, sprint, sprint. Okay. Have a rest. Yeah. Good.